Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another day of scrapping on a ship. I'm combining it today with off the board and stretch the sketch. Off the board, we use Pinterest pins for our inspiration and so stretch the sketch. We use a sketch and we either stretch it or shrink it. My stretch today is from Laura Whitaker and it is off of Pinterest and so it counts as my off the board uh, pin. So a little bit of double dipping, but I think that's okay. And my layout is about eating at one of the um, upgraded dining venues aboard the Royal Caribbean Oasis of the Sea while we were on our cruise. So Sandy, MK, and I decided we needed to eat at Izumi, which is a... Japanese restaurant and it's Teppan style where they cook in front of you and so I've got several photos of it um, and I'm just playing around with my papers trying to figure out how I'm going to stretch this sketch into a double pager I'm kind of not really down with the the slight diagonal uh, I don't I don't know I I can do a diagonal but it's not my favorite thing so, especially with this many photos going across a double pager, I feel like I have to really start down low to go up high, or it just looks like everything is a bit wonky and not, um, like I didn't know how to line up the paper. It doesn't look intentional enough when it's on a double pager for me. So, I'm going with a straight across kind of look instead of the, um, the diagonal that Laura has in the sketch there. I am also using a grid background like she is, but my grid is on the bottom instead of the top. And then I am using this kind of uh, painted abstract background. These papers are both from Heidi Swap's Set Sail collection, and I really like them. I think they go really well with my whole kit that I am using for this particular cruise. Um, it I tried to pull in as much of the red that was in the papers as possible because there is red in the restaurant signage there um, and in those sauces and such. But M MK is wearing an orangey kind of a top and there's a lot of those colors as well. And there's some blues in the background. So I thought this paper would work well. Now I am trying to figure out exactly what I'm going to do. I've pulled out some foliage from the uh, Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Coastal Collection, and I'm just kind of looking through, kind of deciding how I'm going to make this work. Laura's got a bunch of flowers on the sides and peeking up from underneath her photos. Uh, her photos are tucked in a bit. I'm not tucking my photos in. I am just going to leave them on top, but my foliage is going to come from behind my photo photos rather than from behind my paper. So I'm switching it up a bit and that is okay. Every I, That's what sketches are for, right? They're a jumping off point, a, a way to get started. Um, if you need to change it for your own purposes, then you should go ahead and do that. Now, several people might be going with a smaller version of the sketch um, or they could be doing anything in between. So definitely go and check out what everyone else is doing. We are all using the same sketch today for Stretch the Sketch. There's also a playlist down below for Off the Board, and everybody is using whatever pin they decide they want to use today, so that you're going to get tons of different inspiration from the Off the Board playlist. The Stretch the Sketch playlist, everyone will be using the same inspiration piece. So I am going to go ahead and layer up these papers behind my photos. I'm going to gut this polka dot one because I may want to use that somewhere else in my album. Um, I didn't have a lot of it, so I want to make sure that I have the opportunity to uh, have it at least re repeated a couple of times in this layout or in this album so that it all comes together nicely. And so that's why I decided to save that. And then um, that other piece, I had a couple of sheets of that, so I'm not too worried about that. I didn't bother getting it. Uh, it's also got scenery on it, so I kind of felt like it, I don't know, maybe it wouldn't gut, it wouldn't have the same appeal if it was just a portion of it. 
I've cut my photos so that I can span the two pages and then I went to my silhouette machine and I die cut a bunch of these large leaves. I also used some dies to die cut the smaller leaves and I apologize I don't have film footage of this. Basically I cut them and then I used um, several different inks to go ahead or watercolors. I, I think, think I used my watercolor palette on these. I just used my water um, the Gonzai Tom, Tombai. I don't know. I never say this one right. But I used my watercolor palette and several of the different shades of green to go ahead and just paint these kind of haphazardly. I'm not really um, too concerned about the coverage of them. They look like leaves in a forest, which are never perfect anyway. So that's my theory. I'm sticking with it. And hopefully, um, hopefully they look okay in your eyes too. So yeah, just layering up a bunch of these leaves. And I really like how that's coming out. I, I really love using leaves on a lot of my layouts because I feel like they go with a lot of things and they're pretty universal um, and easy to use and they give some nice soft lines as well. I am going to keep the actual embellishing besides the leaves fairly simple and um, the title of my layout is going to be Don't Worry Be Happy. Uh, this particular day on board um, into the evening, not during the morning so much, but into the evening, I was having a lot of anxiety and I don't know what, what was causing it really, but um, I had so much anxiety. I think a lot of it had to do with the noises in the restaurant. And so I had switched seats with Sandy. I was like, in case I need to make a quick exit and um, head out, uh, I, I would rather sit closer to the door. And so we switched seats uh, and it was, it all ended up working out fine once the chef came out and actually started going. But it was, I think the surrounding noises were really, um, I don't know, taking, taking its toll on me. I think I was just like overstimulated or something. I have no idea. But um, yeah, that's my title is Don't Worry, Be Happy. So in those photos, MK's got her hands up because the chef has done the eggs and he has flung some and she's caught them in her mouth. Sandy has her mouth open and there's a little tiny piece of egg about to land in her mouth in that photo. And I actually have some video footage of that as well, which I thought was awesome. She did an awesome job and um, hopefully she doesn't she doesn't mind me posting the this layout because uh, you know it was it was a really fun evening once I got over my anxiety attack that I was having. So I did ink up a bunch of these leaves to give them some dimension and a little pop when they're laying next to each other. I used shabby shutters and peeled paint and just inked them up randomly. There's no rhyme or reason as to which color I put on which leaves. I just wanted a little variation and you really can't even tell the, the difference. Uh, I could have probably used all of the same ink pad um, because there's not so much ink on there that you can really tell which color is which. They're very, so similar when applied in this minuscule amount that it, it really just doesn't, it doesn't really, there's no way to even tell, honestly. So I'm just marking my leaf there so I can cut it in half and split my page because obviously this is a double pager and I want to be able to put it in two different separate uh, page protectors. And then I'm going to go ahead and lay my entire uh, photo mat here with the two photos down. I also did the, I think I've already done the right hand side so I can align those and get my photos, uh, my leaves all placed. Actually, I might not have done the, the right hand side yet. Uh, at, when I'm placing all of these leaves, I am starting at the bottom. So they're all laid down and then I am picking up the bottom layer first, adding glue and tucking it back under and building from the bottom up because uh, there's not really a way to build from the top up or top down without making a big old mess because I would have to uh, pry them up to tuck the other ones under. 
sometimes I do work from the top down um, when I have embellishments that are kind of like over the corner of my of my photo or something I will glue those onto the photo and then I will start uh, gluing stuff underneath when my photo is not on the paper to make the cluster that is going to be peeking out. Hopefully that makes sense. I am doing a terrible job of describing anything tonight. So I apologize, you guys. Um, if I am building from the bottom of the layout, like from the paper up, then I've got to start gluing from the paper up. But uh, there's just too many of these to build from right below my, my photograph. Like if I held my photo and glued onto my photo, it, there's just too many. So it is a way that I sometimes work and um, it is not this time. <laughs> you guys, I am just like, uh, yeah, there's a reason for everything that I do. It's kind of weird, but I just can't hold this many leaves, obviously. So I have to work the opposite direction. And now I feel like I'm just rambling on. So anyway, in, in, in the photos, I've got the the chef there is making like a dragon out of some of the food and um, there is a photo of the menu and then a close-up of the sauces and then out in the background you kind of see the rice piled up on the grill top there or whatever you call that surface the cooking surface and um, we eat at these types of restaurants. I won't say frequently, but we have a couple of these near by my house. So it's not a new experience for me. I don't know that they have a lot of these out where MK lives. So uh, I think this was kind of fun for her especially. But it was just fun to be able to, to, to do this together and to just enjoy the meal. It was really a great um, meal. The service was good. The food was fantastic. Uh, and we just really had a really good time. So I know this is kind of like a boring video. You're just getting me, you're just watching me glue f uh, leaves down. Not very exciting. I did pull out these stickers from Heidi Swap. Uh, the first one is from her set sale, not set sale, her Sun Chaser collection. And actually, both of those are from her Sun Chaser collection, which mat matches. Um, that top paper actually is, I believe, from Sun Chaser, and the bottom one is from Set Sail. I think I misspoke earlier. Anyway, um, I'm, I'm mixing the two, and um, I'm really liking the way that this looks. I'm keeping it super simple, like I said, and I am writing a little story about um, myself having the anxiety, and then um, it turning out to be a good a good time, regardless. Uh, once I was able to just kind of like get over that and it was really fun to watch um, everyone else having a great time as well you can see me actually in the background of the photo of MK with her hands up I am videoing and Sandy is taking still photos and then um, I do think that uh, when Sandy was catching hers MK was taking still photos so between the three of us, we had an awful lot of photos. I am adding a couple of yellow flowers from the 49 and Market Sunburst collection. Lots of sun going on in these um, collections. Sunburst, Sun Chaser. Uh, anyway, that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. I apologize that I was like really all over the place with my voiceover, but I hope that you enjoyed the layout nonetheless and. Um, got an idea on how to stretch this sketch. Uh, don't forget to check out everyone else who is playing along and hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this one and subscribe if you are interested in seeing more. I'll see you guys again real soon. Bye-bye.